everyone and welcome back to another review by Fat Ninja Studios. I'm your host Jackie Kay and today we are visiting Vacation Friends, a typical screwball comedy featuring some exciting new talents. Before we head in, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to lick that bell icon to stay notified of future releases. Alright, let's get to it. Vacation Friends starts off with couple Marcus and Emily, learning that the hotel room they booked has been flooded. Not letting this ruin his weekend, Marcus decides to propose to Emily in the lobby, which is overheard by Ron and Kyla, the couple who has a suite above them and is responsible for said flooding. They offer to let Marcus and Emily stay with them and immediately begin the shenanigans, offering them lace drinks and more. Marcus begins to loosen up and Ron encourages him to tie the knot in Mexico with the traditional Mayan ceremony, since Emily's parents are so disapproving of him. After four days, they part ways when Marcus and Emily have to return home to deal with the engagement parties and the wedding itself. Emily's parents are rich and look down on Marcus, who not only has a failed marriage in his past, but happens to be in construction. Suddenly, during the engagement soiree, Ron and Kyla show up, and this makes Marcus and Emily panic, since the other couple is so carefree and rambunctious. However, Ron almost immediately charms Emily's dad as they are both retired Green Berets, and Kyla easily works around to get to know everyone with her sweet and mildly dumb disposition. More hijinks ensue, including a fox hunt where Marcus and Ron end up eating shrooms, and then at the wedding dinner, Marcus reveals he may have gotten Kyla pregnant. Turns out he never had sex with her during his drunken stupor, and rather his fiance had sex with Kyla on top of him. They throw the couple out that night, but then realize all the good things that they had done. While it may sometimes have resulted in disaster, they were always well-intentioned, and if it hadn't been for Ron, Emily's dad wouldn't have seen Marcus for who he really is. Marcus and Emily track them down at a Waffle House, begging them to be in their wedding, and then a few months later, find themselves all done in Mexico again, this time with Ron and Kyla tying the knot in the Mayan ceremony. I tried not to reveal too many of the jokes, but they are your standard vacation antics, especially if you've ever seen a National Lampoon movie or so. Still, it has its laugh out loud moments and the cast generally gels well together. The bromance between John Cena and Little Ray is especially fun to see grow, and in the end it leaves you feeling good. I give it a solid 7 out of 10, worth checking out. I want to say thank you for sitting through this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We are so close to reaching the 100 subs mark! If you're feeling generous, please visit our Patreon. For as low as $1, you can help us make better videos. If you want to reach out to us, you can. You can find us on Twitter, at StudiosFat, or on Discord, which is linked below. I've been your host, Jackie K, and before I go, vacations are important. Sometimes getting away from everything for just a little while can help you see things more clearly, get that spark going, or simply let you unwind. Don't put it off till next year either. If you've got the opportunity, go for it. Thanks again, and take care.